Trailblazers, Michelle here. Today I'm going to walk you through how to track sales commissions using QuickBooks Online. All right, let's dive into QuickBooks Online and I'll show you how to set up uh, tracking, class tracking, so you can keep track of sales commissions. So the first thing you're going to want to do is come up here and click on the cog. We're going to come down to Account and Settings. And we're going, oops, going to click Advanced. From this window, you can see that we can select a categories tracking. And you can, there's two choices. You can use track classes or locations. The biggest difference between the two is that classes you can add to individual line items on a transaction. And locations, you can only have one location per transaction. Um, we're going to just pick classes today. I'm going to tell it to warn me when it isn't assigned. That's a great feature, especially when you're learning to use um, the classes. So we're going to click OK, and now you can see it switch from off to on. So we'll close out of this window. And then we're going to click on our cog again. We want to go to All Lists. And now by turning on classes, you'll see it shows up right here in this field. We're going to click that. And then you can see we already have a sales rep set up. And then we have some um, subclasses for that. So let's add a new sales rep just so I can show you how this works. So let's say our new rep's name is John. And he's going to be a subclass of sales rep. Click Save. So now you can see we've got four sales reps in here. So we are going to generate an invoice. Let's say that we sell it to Freeman Sporting Goods as of today's date to sell some design work. Let's say this invoice was for $5,000, and we're going to assign it to our new rep, John. Hit save and close. All right, so now we're going to come down here to reports, and this is how, where you pull the report. So from here, we're going to pick uh, profit and loss. Typically, it's up here in your favorites with a star. If it's not here, you can come down here to the business overview and it's down here. Okay, we just want for the month of November. Oops. And we're going to hit customize. And under here, we can tell it to filter. So we can filter by the class tracking. And so you can have a couple options. If you want to, oops, if you want to filter it, you can tell it, hey, we only want to pull up any sales reps for John. So if we run here, see, there you can see we've got the $5,000. If we click on the amount, It'll drill down and you can get a whole listing of all of the invoices that were attached to John for the month. And from here, you can print this report right all over it. You can also export it down to Excel, which makes it super simple if you need to add an extra line to calculate those sales commissions before you send them off to payroll. All right, another option you can do, let's go back to our income statement. If we hit customize, Instead of filtering by the rep, we can add rows and columns. So you can add um, a column by your class. And then you can see, so we have um, 5,000 for John for the month. You can see Lisa's got $2,500, or I'm sorry, $12,500 in sales. Nicole's got $6,500 in sales. We also have Matt. Matt has zero sales since he's not showing up on this report. 
And the cool thing is if you had some invoices in here that weren't tagged, they would show up under not specified. So then you could click on that real quick and drill down and add the sales rep if you needed. And then same thing if then you wanted to. So this gives you a quick summary snapshot if you want to see how your salespeople are performing this month, if they're hitting their goals, or if you need to go talk to them and say, hey, John, you're supposed to be at 12,000 by now. What's going on? Um, you can do that. And then to get those individual reports, so let's look at Lisa. We'll click on the amount again. And then that drills down, and you can see exactly what's made up for that 12,500 amount. Same thing I showed you before, you can export this down to Excel if it's the end of the month and you're ready to pay and calculate the commission. Send that off to payroll. I hope that helps. If you learned something new, please give us a thumbs up. Feel free to hit subscribe for new videos on QuickBooks Online tutorials and other business solutions. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye-bye.